Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to show using Punnett squares why hemophilia is more common in males than females. Hemophilia is a recessive linked trait. Females can be a carrier, which is written XX, capital letter, lowercase, not have hemophilia, which you have two capital letters, or have the disease. Since it's recessive, you're going to have two lowercase. And then males may be have, may have hemophilia or not. And obviously, since the Y doesn't really come in play with an X-link trait, it either has the lower case, which they have hemophilia, or the capital letter. So, and then there are only two ways a female to have, for a female to have hemophilia. If the father and the mother both have the disease, or the father is affected and the mother is a carrier. So let's look at a couple of Punnett squares and see why this is the case. Okay. And I'm going to work two, and then we can look at it and see why males is more common in males than females. Okay, so here are, uh, I have the Punnett squares already set up, and I've already got these filled in because it's just too many boxes to fill in. And then the female can be either a carrier, and you have a capital H, lowercase h. I'm just using the H for hemophilia. And then you can, the female can have, the disease, and that would be two lowercase, or there's none, and it would be two capital letters. Okay, so let me go ahead and fill this in. When you're filling out a Punnett square for um, an X-linked trait, then it works almost like a monohybrid, except the Y doesn't really contribute anything. So let me go ahead and fill this in. I'm going to go XX, and then this is a capital H lowercase, and this is going to be eight xx and this is lowercase lowercase and then we have xy and you're going to get the capital letter in xy and you're going to get the lower case and in this particular instance uh, this female will be a carrier this female will have the disease so that will be one this male uh, does not have the disease and this male has the disease because it has a lowercase h. So in this case, they both have a 25% chance of carrying disease. Now when we get here, I'm going to fill them in again, xx. You have capital, capital, xx, lowercase, capital, okay? And you know, you can write the h in front of it, but there's no universal law for that. Uh, we have x and a capital letter and then y. And then we have X with a lowercase and Y. And in this example, the female uh, will not have the disease because you have capital letter, will be a carrier. I'll write a C. Okay. The male will not have the disease, and here the male will. So you have a 25% chance here that the male will be a carrier, but 0% for the female. Okay. So now let me go ahead and continue through here. And in this particular example, um, this female will have hemophilia. This female will, so that's 50%. This male and this male, so that's 50%. And this is where the um, female, the mother, has the disease and the male has the disease. Okay. And then in this particular example, the female will not, female will not, the male will, the male will. And so you have a 0% chance for female, 50% chance for male. And then here we have, this is a female carrier, this is a female carrier, because remember you have one capital letter, one capital letter. But it's, since it's a recessive trait, you have to have two lowercase letters. And in this particular example, the male will not get it, the male, so 0% chance here. And finally, in this one, no, no, um, no, no, zero percent chance here. So if you go and look, the only two instances that the female can get it is where you have the male and the female is a carrier or the male and the female has the disease. But the males can get it here and also here. So you have four of the six. So anyway, that's using a Punnett square and showing why hemophilia is more common in males than females. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math.
and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.